Look what we got here. Another little birdie wanting to fly. Stop this thing! <laughs> Flap those wings some more and I'll feed you a worm. And you. Hope you got a stomach for heights. What's it bloody look like? We're teaching this here pipsqueak to fly. Cause it makes me laugh. <laughs> you want this little cave lurking what's it? Find your own. He's ours! As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Asking the what? Oh. The goblin's nostrils flare, as if trying to judge you through smell alone. We're leaving. What about the gnome? Ain't we supposed to bring him to... I said we're leaving! There's plenty of sport and rich pickings out there for us. Move it! Fresh meats. Scared meats. Yes! Like a Kamara, there's pustulant thugs. Well, get on with it. You saved me, now you'll extort me. That's how this works, yes? Nothing? Uh, my own fault, really. I should have dropped my pack and outrun those bastards. Alas. Take my pack. If you can find it. The only reason those goblins caught me was its weight. I'll travel lightly from now on. Ignorance is alive and well, it seems. Deep gnomes aren't restricted to the Underdark, you know. I've lived in Baldur's Gate for years. I'm in search of a friend. I fear he's in trouble. See this? I gave it to him years ago before I left home. I found it around the neck of a thug in the lower city. It was speckled with blood. My friend, nowhere to be found. But I still have hope. I have reason to believe he's in the Underdark. Hopefully I'll pick up his trail from there. I always help my friends. On that note, <clears throat> I bid thee farewell. If we should meet again, well, we will have met again. Hm. Ah, oh, it's you. The mascot of my ill fortunes. Much as I'd love to chat, I'm not allowed social breaks. I thought I was. I came down here looking for Wolbrin. I suspected he and his little friends might have come to this region. And I was right. But I was too late. Walbrin had already been taken to Moonrise Towers. The rest, put to work. You won't find a worse gaggle of rare do wells than these Iron Hand gnomes. Except for Walbrin, desperate though his taste in companions might be. As I was contemplating his folly, I was spotted by a very ugly Dwergar. Now, I dig. It isn't good. Dig, and hope for an opportunity to escape. These brutes are no mere goblins. I doubt you could take them on. 
You will. If you are successful, that would be most convenient. has been my ruin. Absolute demands their slaughter. Yet, here you stand, in bold defiance. A test, yes, you must be. The Absolute bade you to try Nir's faith. Thryn, carve out his heart and serve it to the Rothe. If he indeed is a true soul, let the Absolute save him. The Absolute guides my hand. You've chosen a battle you cannot win. Your scalp buzzes as Nier's mind reaches out. Not to you, but to the nearby Dwergar. <sighs> I see treachery at every turn. Not every Dwergar proves faithful to the Absolute. Nier is not without mercy, true soul. Now these overgrown rats have given you a chance to earn my favor. Strike them down. Prove your faith. Heretics, let Nier be your end. Well, so much for peace. It might be useful. Shit. Brithvos kicked the tankard. Prick was old and dirt. Here's your cut. 
just like Brithfars said. Listen up, Clan Flameshade. We need to cut and run. It's time I scram before the buggers at Moonrise charge in. They belong to the clan. They're coming with us. Speak up, Chief. You can't just let the clan keep them. These shitheads aren't worth the hassle. You got yourself a deal. You free squatties. Get your legs moving before I change my damn mind. Beldron! I was so worried. Did Nir hurt you? No, no, I'm all right. Did the sergeant hurt you? Oh, who cares? We're together now, thank Iron Hand. <laughs> we ought to thank someone a little closer by, I think. Gaedel Ironhand, you may not be, but you damn well fight like him. I'm grateful, don't mistake me, but why help us? You're one of them, aren't you? You did just lift a mountain from our heads, so good enough for me, I reckon. Here. The Iron Hand gnomes honor their debts. With Walburn gone, that falls to me. Make it quick. We need to find Walburn. Now! You're a little late, Barkus, my lad. He's already been sent to Moonrise Towers. We were just slave hands to the cult, but not Walburn. He knows things. Things they want to know, too. What has he gotten himself mixed up in now? You'll call me mad, but fine. Walbrins found the formula for rune powder. What? Aye. The explosive of Gerdel Iron Hand's own creation. Fistfuls, wiping out armies. All those old stories. Only Walbrun couldn't leave the stories be, so he went and bloody found it. A small supply tucked away down here with a manuscript. He just made sense of the formula when the cult jumped us, so he burned the damn thing. If there's a single copy left, it's sitting in his head. Those absolutists pull it out and make rune powder, they could flatten the whole of the Sword Coast. <laughs> I wouldn't trust them with a bloody butter knife. But it's a fight for another day. My people can barely stand, and we have business back in the city. Business is what sent us after the powder to begin with. Now, we'll have to make other arrangements. And just like that, you'd leave Walbrun behind? I knew you lot were foolish, but I didn't know you were cruel. If you knew half as much as you think, my lad, Walbrun might have kept you around. It is. And if the pick swung the other way, I'd expect Walburn to do the same. My people will find somewhere to regroup across the lake, then on to the city. If you find yourself in Baldur's Gate, seek us out. We'll raise a glass to Walburn together. I should speak up. Suffer? It was over in a... Well, you did it. Nothing good happens in the Underdark. As you know, some of the Iron Hand gnomes, my friend Walbrin among them, have been taken prisoner in Moonrise Towers. They're not even going after him. I wish I were surprised. And so, to Moonrise Towers I go. Certainly not. In case you haven't been paying attention, my friend 
has been taken captive. He needs me. Ha! I was unlucky twice. The odds of it happening again are very slim. Then again, a small rest might be prudent. Give me time to think. Hmm. Hmm. Fine. Show me where to go and I'll try my luck. I'll have a better chance of rescuing Walbrin if I'm at my best. And, um, thank you. I thank you for the invitation to your camp. It's, um, well appointed, not too crowded, perfect for thinking. And I've been doing just that. It's about Walbrin. We know he's been taken to Moonrise Towers, and we know I'm going to save him. The problem is this. A preponderance of evidence that I am a terrible adventurer. I'm not sure I should trust Wilbrin's fate to... Well, me. Hmm. You've done so much already. I'm hesitant to prevail upon you again. But I can't risk recapture. I barely escaped last time. You do it then. You'd look for him. That's <clears throat> very decent of you. Thank you. There's something else you should know. Something I can no longer ignore. I know you've learned about the gnome's pursuit of rune powder, but do you know what it truly is? Until very recently, I thought rune powder was a myth. A substance so powerful it could fell a city. A nation. The Iron Hand gnomes have proven the impossible. Rune powder is real, and they have it in their possession. Destruction. The only thing it's good for. But destruction of what? Well, I'm hoping Wilbrin will be able to tell us. I shouldn't have let him drift away. Shouldn't have let that lock get their claws into him. Now more than ever, I need to find him. We need to find him. He's the only one I might be able to speak to sensibly. I'd kiss you, but neither of us deserve that. Thank you. Ah, you found your way. Good. I thought I'd scout ahead, check for any nasty surprises, of which I found a great deal. Shades, death, harpers, flaming fist, and this, of course, and the makings of an alchemist's workbench. Ingredients, too. There's a recipe I'm trying to replicate, something that might help you. That is, if you're still going to help Wolbrin and the others. In that case, you'll be very pleased to learn what I have in store for you. A new type of smoke powder. All the bang and boom of the original, but with an extra surprise. I call it the brilliant retort. You'll need it if you're going to survive this cursed place. You'll need it if you're going to get into Moonrise Towers and help the Deep Gnomes taken prisoner there. You'll need it if you're going to save Wilbrin. Let's call a thing a thing. A Deep Gnome won't get far into the Absolute's orgy of evil. We already learned that in the Underdark with those sadistic Dwergar, didn't we? It's doubly true in this place. You, on the other hand, have proven resourceful in such infiltrations. I'll do my part according to my talents. And you, I hope, will do yours. The brilliant retort will aid you. Thus, I will make it. Unless you've got access to a 300-year-old Tempusian apothecarial almanac? No. But that's for me to worry about. You 
You do whatever it is you do. Some of us are counting on you. Nimble. Check for gaps, cracks, anything to leverage the rock. Nickels, tools, get creative. This rock is basalt. It'll crack with enough pressure. Ah, don't mind us, true soul. The back wall is weak. We're working to brace it. Barkus is out here? Mm, didn't think he had the stones. Well, if he sent you, you're no slave to the Absolute. You're a damn wolf among sheep, aren't you? <laughs> I reckon you and I were meant to meet. I'm Wilbrun. We've got a plan. For us and the tieflings both. But we're scuppered without the right equipment. We need tools. That head case of a warden robbed ours. But anything that breaks rock will do. Even if it's not iron hand quality. Whatever you find, throw it through the bars. But for the love of Gerdel, make sure a guard doesn't see you. Or we're both done for. I'll give it a shot. witnessed assaulting someone. You're headed for the cells. Still on my feet. Swift as my feet can carry me. Your feet fly fast, my friend. Any luck with those tools? Blessed Gerdol, I thought I'd never see it again. Thank you. The plan is to wait for a quiet moment, then bust out the back wall. We'll grab the tieflings along the way. We'll need them if it comes to a fight. You, however, are the clincher. Once we move, keep the patrols busy. If the bastards spot us, all of bloody Moonrise will come down on us. We'll move once it's quiet. Until then, be ready. Nothing. This is it. Boat's good to go. All that's left is to ship off. My plan for now is to hide out on the water. 
Unless you have a better idea. Safe? That's no small claim in these parts. Lead the damn way. dark until time skill or luck brings you to last light's dock hold there you can't just land and start unloading strangers they're procedures damn it no one gets in without being tested commander jahira's orders and they'll have it once we know they're free from infection it, form a line. Let's see if the Absolute's little pet recognizes any of you. The Absolute's what? What are you doing? If what you've said is true, no one has anything to fear. If not, well, we'll soon find out. Now, form a line. I'll not ask again. Ah, there you are. Everyone seems to be quite a flutter. Do you know why? You... you did? But, but that means... Wolverine! <gasps> Wolverine! Oh, where is he? Seems someone's been oh. skipping our supplies. Is anyone keeping an eye on those children from Belpera? Maybe not, Mom. Uh, a, a moment. Wolverine, it's, it's me! Again. Maybe we missed something. I Wolverine! Ah, uh, I heard you might be about. Uh, how the devil did you get stuck here, Barkas? <laughs> I'm not stuck! I came to find you, of course. Why would you do a foolish thing like that? Really, Barkas? <laughs> Unfortunately for me, you're my friend. Rescuing you from mortal peril is my right. <sighs> but you didn't rescue me, did you? I rescued myself with the aid of this helper. Ah, it's you. I should have guessed. Thank you very much for your help finding Wolbrin. You don't belong here, Barkus. As soon as the way is clear, pack up and head to Baldur's Gate. But... W Wolbrin... The rune powder... We need to discuss what you're going to... I said go home! Please, th that isn't necessary. Indeed. Neither of you has any clue what's at stake. A and why should you? It's Iron Hand Gnome business. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a great deal to do. Well, there we have it. Walbrin is safe and sound, thanks to you. I owe you a great deal. The brilliant retort, for starters. Here you are, as promised. I give you the brilliant retort. Now. I believe our business is well and truly concluded. One and the same. Ah, nonsense. When you've known each other as long as we have, th there aren't sides. Wolverine can be a little sharp, but so can I. You should know that better than anyone. Well, perhaps Wolbrin is right. Perhaps I ought to return to Boulder's Gate. Oh, that's all right. I'm a patient fellow. I'm, I'm sure you'll clear a path for everyone soon enough. Good to see you. Wasn't sure you'd make it to the city. Regretting it yet? 
I spent a lot of time thinking of worst case scenarios while I was locked in that cell you plucked me out of at Moonrise. I didn't imagine anything as bad as this. The Gondians have handed Enver Gortash the means to bring about the end of liberty in Baldur's Gate. And the citizens have rolled out the red carpet for the new tyrant. Resistance fighters are few and far between. My iron hands, what's left of the Harpers, and you, I hope. As long as our objective is the same, the reason doesn't matter to me. We have a common enemy. But neither of us gets what we want until we deal with our biggest obstacle. The Steel Watch, they're a threat to you, me, and every man, woman, and child in this city. They act all civilized, servants of the people, but they only serve one man. When he becomes Grand Duke, it will only get worse. Laws will change. Freedoms will vanish, and soon you'll be accused and sentenced before you've even committed a crime. And the fucking Gondians are to blame for all of it. They invented the Steel Watchers, and they're building an army of them. They've always been happy to provide their technology to despots in exchange for a stipend and the freedom to work in peace. They would have licked Saravok's boots, given the chance. And now they'll kiss Gortash's ring while this city screams. I had a plan to put a stop to them. But the way things are now, if we stick our heads above ground, the Watchers are on us like flies on shit. Same as it always is. Eliminate the threat. In this case, the foundry where these atrocities are produced. The Gondians are ingenious, but we're more than equal to them. There's nothing they can build that the Iron Hands can't tear down. I've built something unique for just that purpose. A room powder bomb. First of its kind. Fifty wizards high on the weave couldn't summon this kind of firepower. Get the bomb inside the Gondian facility and... Problem solved. Walbrin, please. This is too far. Everyone in the foundry would be killed. Quiet, Barkus. The adults are talking. It's liberation. The Gondians picked their side the minute they took orders from Gortash. If they had any courage, they'd have refused him and died like heroes, spitting in his face. Now they'll die like the dogs they are. That's what I've been saying. There may yet be a peaceful solution. Fine. You want to try flapping your gums in the belly of the beast? Be my guest. But their idea of diplomacy is a steel fist shoved where the sun don't shine. So take the bomb. Just in case I'm right and you're wrong. My way's the only way. I think you're just too delicate to admit it. But I believe in second chances. When you come crawling back here, and you will, we can talk. A rune powder bomb? Huh. What the devil has he become? The Wolbrin I know, the one who skipped rocks with me in the Underdark, he's still in there. I know it, but his hate for the Gondians has blinded him. He believes they work for the Absolute willingly, but it's not true. I'm sure of it. Something is wrong, very wrong. You did well refusing Wolbrin's proposition, but... I fear he'll find some fool who'll plant his bomb. The Gondians deserve a chance to plead their case before being blown to pieces. Please, find out what's going on.
That's all I ask. Questions first, violence later. And only if absolutely necessary. You are asking the impossible. Gyronetics require a steady hand and a sharp gaze. I can barely keep my eyes open. I need to rest. You have a son, do you not? Is he as lazy and pathetic as his spineless mother? Wait! Stay your hand, I beg you. Prinsky's motivation sequence activated. Tell me, Gondian. Tell me about your son. He's not... <sighs> yes, Overseer Holt. He's frail in body and mind like me, like all of us. Yet by your grace, he lives. And your wife? She is... was... useless. And interfered with production quotas. You were wise to remove her from this world. Forgive my outburst. I will work through the night. This watcher will be operational by dawn. I will allow it. But if your work is anything short of impeccable, your son will die screaming. Is that clear? Yes. Overseer Holtz. Don't, don't fall asleep. Dread brother, stand ready. Gondians, so much as twitch, and I'll rip your tongues out myself. You recognize the Overseer's uniform. She's a follower of Bane, the god of tyranny. Interloper, how did you get in here? It matters not. You revealed yourself for nothing. The Gondians wouldn't know a spine if I ripped it from their backs and beat them with it. You're wrong. Even if we beg, even if we humiliate ourselves, it won't matter. You'll kill us all anyway. What was that? I said, we shall bow no more. Motivation sequence activated. No! The motivator! Deactivate it! Hurry! Be ready. Worth a try. Understand. The Overseers hold more than our lives hostage. They have our families. And if they see what we've done, killing me will only be the beginning. God help us. 
I need to Bastard dispose of them. Served. gate betrays your presence, stranger. You don't belong here. Who are you? Blackaith! Why? Your presence imperils us all. If any of us attempts to escape, our kin will die. The Overseers, they have a contraption. When triggered, it will kill everyone who wears a collar. underestimate the enemy. The Overseers, they are Glicksbran Rakthar. The Collars are not only equipped with explosives, there is also a mechanism that alerts the Overseers if they're removed. One of us may be able to save themselves, but it would be at the expense of everyone else. We can't risk it. Even if we did somehow unshackle our collars simultaneously and overthrow our oppressors, there would be consequences. Our families are held elsewhere. The Overseers need only activate those contraptions they hold, and they suffer the consequences of our actions too. We cannot win. We must aid in building these Vagrun. Gun gun. I, even more, I'd help you destroy this place. <sighs> I don't know where they are, but some of the overseers must. You'll have to infiltrate deeper into the foundry. Just make sure you don't get caught. If they raise the alarm, they'll trigger the collars. I will pray for you. My daughter, her name is Obinia. Gondral Fraka's Hulnesh. May Gond be with you. Patience. It hasn't been long. Found them? Our families. That makes sense. The Bay Knights must have a way of getting to and from the prison. I suggest you search the docks. Oi! What's this? You ain't supposed to be down here, mate. A submersible. It matches the description of the vehicle that brought the Gondian hostages into the Iron Throne. Well. Me and Cat don't know a thing about that. This big boy, the captain of Grey Harbor, built him with my own two hands. And like I said, we can't help you.
listen. I just do what I'm told. All right. I'll take you in. But look, there's some bad shit going down in there. You don't want to get involved. Neither did I, but it was them or me. I'll get Cat warmed up. Get in when you're ready. Aren't you the intrepid little adventurer, digging and diving where you don't belong? The Iron Throne, a ruin from the city's dark past that could become a template for a brighter future. It is the most useful tool for motivating my Gondian workforce, key to the construction of the steel watch that keep the city safe. But like all tools, the moment it ceases to be useful, I will break it. Thanks to your trespassing, that moment may have come. Return to the docks, or the deaths of everyone inside will be on your conscience. Your mind turns to the Gondian hostages, bound in fear, their futures hanging by a thread in Gortash's web. That was a mistake. When the corpses start to wash up on the shore, remember, you could have prevented all of this. Like the Iron Throne, you remain intact. So, it seems, will the families of all the hostages rescued from the throne. I just... I... I can't thank you enough. I was certain that place was to be my cold, wet tomb. You... you saved us! Saved us all! I thought it impossible, but... but you did it! We were kept hostage to control our families and the Steel Watch Foundry, to keep them building Gortash's death machines. Please. They need to know what happened here. They have no reason to obey Gortash anymore. If they rebel, it'll put a dent in Gortash's steel might. He... he did? Of course he did! I knew it. I knew he would do something. You have beaten and tormented us to the brink of insanity. You cut out my eyes. But we will bow no more. Gondians! Rip the motivator from this bastard's hands! For Gond! Never a dull moment. Time for mercy. Talk to me. On the victor's path. Get Ali. Oof. Too close for comfort. I go. Heating up. Covered. What 
What happened to Obelia? Is she safe? <sighs> My heart. I thought her lost. I would give more than just my sight to keep her safe. Our destination is the Neurosita, the nerve center of the Steel Watch. Guide me there, and I'll do the rest. My fellow Gondians, flee this prison! We're bringing this place down! Wait! Elevator gyroscopes, triple set quadrupex. No, it can't be. I hear it through the floor. Powerful, indestructible. The ultimate watcher. The Titan. Indestructible. We'll see about that. It shames me to admit this, but you must face this beast of Gondian folly alone. I would be crushed in an instant. When it raises its shields, strike it with every scrap of magic and might you possess and pray to God that it does not fire upon you. Good luck, my friend. I can hear its hum. Familiar, 
yet painful. I helped design the steel watches, coiled night and day on the first bipedal prototype. It is fitting it ends this way. I will bring down not only the steel watch, but the very foundry itself. This place will be smoke and rubble when I am finished. Are you ready, my friend? Like the foundry, the Neurositor's exterior is near impossible to penetrate. However, its inner circuitry is highly unstable. I'm going to rain fire upon it from the inside out. Let your hammer be my courage, your furnace my heart. That was a hell of a show, my friend. Watchers collapse in the street as we speak. And the foundry... Well, it won't stain this beautiful city with its abominations. Not anymore. But it's not over. So long as a single parasitic Gondian remains, Baldur's Gate is under threat. Enough, Walbrin. Gortash enslaved us, forced us to build his steel watches, but no more. Take the city, let the Iron Hands reign supreme. I just wish to go home and hold my daughter. Please. <laughs> if a Gondian told me the sky was blue, I'd look outside and check. You Gondians will lie, scheme, and torment this city until your dying breaths. Let's end this! Walbrin, enough! I won't watch as you poison your soul and the brilliant future that remains to the Iron Hand Gnomes. I thought the Iron Hand Gnomes had corrupted you, Walbrin. Now... I wonder if it wasn't the other way around. Kill the Gondians, and you kill all we love. Collaboration, challenge, solving problems with the power of reason, creativity, and invention. I still want to believe you're better than that, Walbrin. But even I am having my doubts. No! The bastards must pay for their arrogance, their greed, and a true rebel dies for his cause. Pity Wolverine. His brilliance was dazzling, but his mind was ruined by hatred. Thank you for standing with us. Simply call and the Gondians will come. I swear it. I followed him through the city, to the wilds, through the Underdark, and back home again. Braved goblins, shades, and Evil I can hardly describe. Still, I couldn't save Wilbrin from himself. I don't think anyone could. As am I. I must inform his family. Arrange his affairs as much as I am able. I wish it hadn't ended like this. 
But I know you did all you could to help Walbrin, to help me. I may have lost Walbrin, but I don't leave this place friendless. That much I know for certain. I wish you the very best. And then a little on top. 